Hey guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, and today we're just gonna get right into the mission. Professor! Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. Do you know, do you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Dude, the guy is riddled with needles. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea. Not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. <laughs> Sex scene. Not really, actually. There's they still have their clothes on. We can get to the roof this way. Let's go get ourselves some freaking sons of bitches. One more move, and he's a dead man. Uh oh. One son of a bitch on our list. Bow. Any more sons of bitches? Not that bad. Poke your head out. There we go. Poke your head out. Come on. Come on, man. Any other? Oh, there's one. Found you. He's peeking. He's. I swear to God, I just shot him. I'm gonna watch him tear you limb from limb. That was fucking hilarious. Oh, come here. I gotta get to cover, dude. I'm gonna fucking die here. Where the hell are these other guys? Oh, these guys I can shoot with my bolt action rifle. Die. It's gonna be weird, because I'm gonna do a video on Red Dead Redemption 2. I think I already told you guys this. It's gonna be weird heading back to the game when I played this, you know, when I see Dutch acting like a freaking complete villain. 
I mean, it's weird. In Red Dead Redemption 2, he's like a villain. I think that's most of them. But not as much as he is in this game. Like, he is a complete monster in this game. So it's going to be kind of weird heading back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh! Oh! Horsey! I missed! Fuck! What the devil? <laughs> what do you mean, what the devil? Come on, buddy. Watch out, man! Watch out! Oh, shit! My bad. <laughs> oh man. Well, we're almost done here. Are they. What do you mean? There's nobody. Oh, okay, never mind. They're over there. Gotta reload. Uh, I gotta get. I, oh my god, he's getting away. Oh, more. More. Ooh, I think we're almost there. Here we are. Ah, my research is complete. Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Best of luck, dear friend. So long, Professor. <gasps> so long, sir. Gonna miss you, Professor. You're really freaking weird and funny. And we got a hundred dollars. Nice. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. <laughs> but since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you? Oh, boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure, civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. 
in the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Are we finally going to do it? Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. Ooh, what the hell? I like you. I like you a lot. And it's already steaming. Why is it steaming already? Damn, dude. Oh, damn. I like you a lot. <laughs> Oh my god. It's a car, baby. They told me about these. It's a no, it's a truck. It's a truck. A really slow truck. Seems to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you call This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. That's true. That is true. The army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be oh, enough to Oh, whoa. Turn Can I zoom in on that? You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. Hello, boys. The army back then were not good people. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. Dismiss! Load weapons and get to the sandbag! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Excuse me. Targets on the horizon. Fire at will. Oh. Oh my God, this is sick. Where are they coming from? They're like rats. Dude, this is sick. This is getting his tent. Don't let him get too close. No, don't kill the horses. Yeah, there we go. Come on, give me. Keep them back. Give me Dutch Vanderlyn. Hold him up. Give me Dutch. This ends now. Now. Oh my God! They just keep on coming. Wait, do I get to shoot this thing while we move? Dude, this is sick! Let's go, baby! Christ, this thing's a lot bumpier off the road! It's gonna be a mess if we have to follow them into the woods! Can't you hold this thing steady, Fordham? I'm trying my best, sir. 
<laughs> it's a car. It's a it's a car, guys. Move the car. I can't shoot the shoot them from the. It it won't let me shoot them. Shoot that guy, he's gonna blow us up! Holy what is it with these people? fuck. You want more? Oh my god. You cowards will die for hurting the citizens of the United States. Perfect. Is that it? Oh no, there's more. Quick, do something about that work. Got it. That was easy. At this rate, we're gonna get there. It's gonna. We're going so slow, man. Uh oh. Holy shit! Did I? I, I did. Sh I must have survived because we haven't killed Dutch yet. That is. That should have killed me. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> what a dick. Abigail doesn't do anything. She didn't kill anybody. We're going, baby. We're going. All right, we're almost there, guys. Just a little bit more. Gotta go up, go up these curvy, this curvy path. You, blow that gate open. Move, soldier. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He was. Oh, there he is. He just, it was a floating piece of dynamite. That's all it was. Go! Get down! Bow. That guy has no fear. Oh my god. Keep moving. This ends right now. Dude, they they take two shots now with the bolt action rifle. I got I got I fuck. Come on. Perfect. Push forward! Brace yourself! They're coming again! Come on! Shoot them! You don't know who you're Are you supposed to be outlawed? Come on! They're dead! 
Ah! Get to the gun. I will not die right now. I will not die. Come on. What the fuck? These guys are fucking tough. There's one more, just one more. Where is he? Perfect. That's it. Oh, I got six bucks. Nice. Dude, another gate. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I'll provide the cover fire. All right, man. Blow that gate open. Keep them covered now, Marston. Hold them off. We need time. Who's next? Oh, he decided to seppuku himself. Where? Oh, there's more. Holy shit! Perfect. Oh, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Here it comes. You tend to your wounded. I gotta face Dutch alone. Dude, no way. Why did I get that? Oh my god. There's always a choice. Oh. Just too blind to see. They got my family. Son of a bitch. God damn it. That's right, Dutch. You'll never take me alive, John. I'm the alpha dog, baby. I'm coming, Dutch. I want my pistol. I mean, it looks cooler. I'm coming, Dutch. Can't hide anymore. You're just like me, John. You can't change who you are. I ain't like you. That is true. I don't know. You can always change. Come on, we're almost there. Just a little bit more. That's where you're wrong. Oh, whoa. Why did he shoot at me? Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. Can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see, 
Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed, John. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot him. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? Hmm. Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, <laughs> I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, You've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. <sighs> the benefit of civil uh, civilization. Oh my God. Let's go talk to Abigail. There's a fucking bear! Abigail. Dude, we get to see Abigail. Let's go, baby. Nah. Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling, I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! <coughs> I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling! You know! You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike, and he didn't try it again, nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you, and like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change, I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. 
Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. Cattle? Oh, you fucking son of a bitch! We've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. Son of the bitch. We gotta go do cattle again? Cattle? Look at our outfit, dude. I don't know why I'm all holstered up with all these guns. How do you do, sir? Can't believe we're doing this. I can't believe we're doing this. Let's haul out. I fucking hate this so much. Oh, I'm leading this time. I'm not following somebody. There you go. Dude, this is... This is sick. McFarland's are good people. We need folks we can trust right now. I was sick and they looked Look after me. Jack, you're sick. How? You sure got a lot of questions. I, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no. Oh my Where God. Where these things? Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. A little out of practice. And there's water. We're, we're surrounded by water. What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favors. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Those men harm you? I uh, know. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Or, or a politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that... that life... it's over now. Reunited with my son. And hell no, Jack, you're not becoming a politician. Not a Would damn chance. Mr. Dutch and Bill? Why you went away? Who told you that? I kept hearing people say their names. Th that's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? I guess I'm a, a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change. A chance of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? You never careful! Jack, you're running into me. Calm down. I imagine that's what it says. Silly Billy. We're almost there, Jack. So, you ready to learn about herding cattle? I've never seen you hurt anything, Paul. Apart from the odd pack of drunks. The McFarlands were good to me, and I helped them out in return. I learned a few things along the way. Wait till you see that ranch. There's the ranch. Come on, let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. A little faster, buddy. Oh, is that Slow Mr. Down. McFarland? John Marston. Now, there's a face I thought I'd never see again. They'll have our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what? Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out in the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. Where's Bonnie? 
Well, we don't need to get off our horse. All right, Jack. You're gonna have an important job. Bonnie. Good lord. It's been a long ass see. time, dude. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. Is this the time we do cattle? Are we gonna do cattle right now? God damn it! This sucks, dude. This really sucks. No, we got this. This is gonna take a long ass fucking time, Jack, dude. Keep them headed towards the river. Dude, come on, cattle. You guys are acting like a bunch of cows. Sure thing, buddy boy. Uh, Bonnie, stop running into me. Why is everybody running into me? Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello. Ah, the arrogance of you. He gets a little fur on his lip and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. <laughs> Must take after his father. <laughs> he, no. He's not mine. Come on, how's your wife? She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Come on. Come on, you cow. I had to literally push this cow. You got him under control. I best get back to Paul. Nice to see you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for Don't everything. Funny, Dude, the cows are freaking breaking my Xbox. It's lagging like crazy. God, just get into the... Get in the herd. Go, you fucking idiot. Wow, job, John Marston didn't die this time. Hill, he went home. through water. Where are you going, buddy? Come on, this way. This way. Pyaw! God, I hate this so much. I mean, at least they're not... Not all of them are running off. Except for this one. This guy's lagging behind. Get over there. Hold up, Jack. This don't look right. Got it. I think that's all up. Jack, Did all the cows stay there, together? You all right? Cow, cow, cow. Come back here. I was scared on it. You, you Sorry, cow, you cowy son. cow. Come on. Won't be stealing from anybody else. All right. Let's round up the stragglers and get moving. We didn't lose any cows. Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. <laughs> Who knew such a big herd of cows would make a, our video go up to almost an hour? We gotta finish this up real quickly. We're so close. There we go. Perfect. That's all of them. We made it. Did real good out there. Hey, go on. Hit your horse away from me by the stable. That's a fine herd we got ourselves. So we're ranchers now? Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. You're creeping me out with that smile, man. 15. We got all the cows, dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh